congratulations! So now you have made it to the top four of your national team. That means you'll be representing your country in the ICHO. Now, at this stage, right, again, there's some tips for you how you can do better for the actual competition. Do your country a great honor. I will first focus on practical exam, which is worth 40% of the whole competition results. So, I think the students who did really well for practical tests, they are very cool, you know, they have a lot of swag, level headed, and they are very unaffected what their friends do in the actual competition. And how do they become so cool? That partly comes from having a loss of lab experiences. Now, at this stage, you know, once you're chosen to represent your country, you should ask for more lab experiences. That means right, if you can get yourself into the lab and do experiments every day, right, do it. It's about the frequency. Now, the actual practical exam is a few hours long. So try to have a bit of mental training. That means you stay through the few hours non-stop. Try not to take so much breaks, right, toilet breaks or what, and focus in the experiments. And it is very common to have a practical exam in ICHU to have three questions. Sometimes you might need to do it concurrently or you need to proportion a time. So time management is also a key factor in planning experiments. Now, next thing I recommend is you have a diary to document your daily experiments in the lab because you know you make a mistake you write it down so that at the end of the day you look back okay this is the mistake i make tomorrow i will not make the same mistake or if you see some reoccurring mistakes coming up then you got to tell yourself why am i repeating that because in the actual icho you do not want to be the one to replicate all these silly mistakes all right document it now next part is you need to acquire some speed and confidence sometimes right there are experimental observations that is not what you expected, but if you believe in yourself that, okay, I have done it the right way, there's no doubt, right? So you go with the flow and just write down what you think. Do it with guilt and speed. Be quick. Don't dilly-dally, you know, and you see people you know, still working on other experiments and you're a bit ahead. You should still do quickly, but of course, very carefully. And the last thing is, right, I've done a lot of videos on YouTube here. You can search for my name, Fun Man. On YouTube, I've done many lab videos for you to get exposure like the thin layer chromatography, the flash chromatography, suction filtration. All these techniques are very useful for you to immerse in the environment of the actual competition. So one small practical exam is really about, you know, about your mental strength and of course experiences in the lab. You need to acquire a lot of experiences. Remember, remember what you did wrong and did right and try not to repeat those mistakes again. So that's what I have for you. And later on, we'll move on to the theory exam.